So I had a minor crash in the end of the maiden flight and you can see that the antenna connector was broken. This top plate is very fragile. You can see in the center, it's not full carbon. There is a glass fiber inside. And if you have this quadcopter or if you bought it or if you plan to buy it, I recommend to get another top plate because probably you're going to break it. Now this is repairable. I'm gonna put some hot glue on top, but it's not going to be as durable as it was before. So I finished repairing the quadcopter. You can see that now it looks good, but probably it's gonna break in the next crash. So I'm going to think of a better way to secure it. I also decided to replace the propellers, although the other ones looked better. I think these propellers are going to be more durable. And after the last crash, one of the pop got bent. And even after I bent it back, it wasn't flying well. And now it is flying better with these props. So if you're looking to buy your first or your second quadcopter and you don't want to build yourself, this will make a solid choice and I think it will give you a better value for money than the Asian Racer 250. This one costs I think about $130, this one is about $170, so add $4 and get this one. It is much more advanced, the frame is better and the motors are much better, so you will enjoy it much better than the Racer 250. Having said all of that, I think that if you can, you should probably try to build your own quadcopter because in my opinion, it's a fun experience. And also you're probably going to break the quadcopter. So if you will build it yourself, you will know how to fix it better. But if you're not looking to build one and you just want to get one just out of the box and get it to fly, maybe you just get the art ready to fly version. It, it's another 50 or $40, something like that. And then you get it also with a fly sky remote. You might have noticed that I had some problems with the signal. I'm not sure if it's because of my new FetchUp receiver or because this is this antenna is not so great, but probably changing this antenna to a cloverleaf antenna will improve the FPV experience. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the advantages of this or disadvantages of the quadcopter, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.